Let's take the integral from 2 pi to 4 pi of negative 180 d theta. Now don't get confused by that theta right there. It's the exact same thing as it would happen if there were an x there. Graphically, we are calling this the theta axis. However, our vertical axis is still the y axis. So if we were to graph y equals negative 180, we're looking at y equals negative 180 along the y axis. Let's call this negative 180 down here. This is still the horizontal line at y equals negative 180. However, along the theta axis, we are going to be integrating from 2 pi to 4 pi. Well, 2 pi, that's around right here, and 4 pi, let's call that right there. So we are integrating along the theta axis from 2 pi to 4 pi. We can take a look at our area that we are creating here. We're looking at the area between the curve y equals negative 180 and the theta axis. So here is our shaded in part that we are trying to find the area of. Well, we know how to find the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is the base, which here is 4 pi minus 2 pi. That's a difference of 2 pi. And our height, which here is negative 180. Now, keep in mind that if our curve is below the x-axis, or the theta axis in this case, then we are looking at a negative function value. This is negative 180 down here. And if we were to look at the area of these rectangles that make up this area, we have a positive length, 2 pi to 4 pi, and we have a negative length, negative 180. A positive times a negative is a negative. And indeed, the area of this rectangle right here is negative because it's below the theta axis. So, the area here is 2 pi times negative 180 is negative 360 pi. And that is the integral.